Every day, five of these trucks from Belarus arrive at this Polish dairy cooperative to transport some 100,000 liters of milk back to Belarus. This European milk costs 36 euro cents a liter. Until recently, the dairy sold its cheese directly to Russia, and there was plenty of business. But ever since Moscow blocked European agricultural products from entering Russia, sales have tumbled by 30 percent. Meanwhile, the dairy is selling more and more raw milk to Belarus, a close ally of Russia. That way, it skirts around the blockade. The head of the dairy wasn't expecting his Belarusian buyers to act as blockade breakers. The delivery started right after the sanctions took effect. Our milk is processed into cheese in Belarus and is sold from there to Russia and Kazakhstan, within the Eurasian Economic Union. Along with dairy products, fruits and vegetables have also been hit by the Russian boycott. But Polish sellers continue their trade with Russia on a smaller scale, despite the embargo. We meet a Polish businessman at this truck stop. He claims to have close connections to the Belarusian government and wants to remain anonymous. In August alone, he says, some 4,000 trucks delivered EU fruits and vegetables to Belarus, which then brought them to their final destination in Russia. Belarus is the transit country for EU products heading for Russia. It fills up state coffers in Belarus and Kazakhstan, and the Belarusian officials are keeping quiet. Trucks are still backed up at the Polish-Belarusian border. Some of them wait up to 24 hours. And Belarus is buying more than ever before. Statistics show that Norway, for example, is now selling four times as much salmon to Belarus than it did before the embargo. The police erased our pictures of the fish being repackaged and sold here at this factory in Brest. There's no official record of these additional agricultural imports. The Belarusian economy is planned by the state, which doesn't provide the relevant statistics. We don't have official figures that show what is entering the country to break the sanctions. So we don't know how much the Belarusian government is earning. It's no secret that producers are sidestepping the sanctions. Store shelves in Belarus are lined with milk from Poland along with other EU products. They've been repackaged but are easily identified. Nobody here wants to speculate how long Russia will play along.